Proverbs chapter 28 The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. When a land transgresses, it has many rulers, but with a man of understanding and knowledge, its stability will long continue. A poor man who oppresses the poor is a beating rain that leaves no food. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but those who keep the law strive against them. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it completely. Better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. The one who keeps the law is a son with understanding, but a companion of gluttons shames his father. Whoever multiplies his wealth by interest and profit gathers it for him who is generous to the poor. If one turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer is an abomination. Whoever misleads the upright into an evil way will fall into his own pit, but the blameless will have a goodly inheritance. A rich man is wise in his own eyes, but a poor man who has understanding will find him out. When the righteous triumph, there is great joy, but when the wicked rise, people hide themselves. Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. Blessed is the one who fears the Lord always, but whoever hardens his heart will fall into calamity. Like a roaring lion or a charging bear is a wicked ruler over a poor people. A ruler who lacks understanding is a cruel oppressor, but he who hates unjust gain will prolong his days. If one is burdened with the blood of another, he will be a fugitive until death. Let no one help him. Whoever walks in integrity will be delivered, but he who is crooked in his ways will suddenly fall. Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits will have plenty of poverty. A faithful man will abound with blessings, but whoever hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, yet a person will do wrong for a piece of bread. The stingy are eager to get rich and are unaware that poverty awaits them. Whoever rebukes a person will in the end gain favor, rather than one who has a flattering tongue. Whoever robs their father or mother and says, it's not wrong, is partner to one who destroys. The greedy stir up conflict, but those who trust in the Lord will prosper. Those who trust in themselves are fools, but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. Those who give to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to them receive many curses. When the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding, but when the wicked perish, the righteous thrive. Chapter 29 Whoever remains stiff-necked after many rebukes will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. When the righteous thrive, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, the people groan. A man who loves wisdom brings joy to his father, but a companion of prostitutes squanders his wealth. By justice, a king gives a country stability, but those who are greedy for bribes tear it down. Those who flatter their neighbors are spreading nets for their feet. Evildoers are snared by their own sin, but the righteous shout for joy and are glad. The righteous care about justice for the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. Mockers stir up a city, but the wise turn away anger. If a wise person goes to court with a fool, the fool rages and scoffs, and there is no peace. The bloodthirsty hate a person of integrity and seek to kill the upright. Fools give full vent to their rage, but the wise bring calm in the end. If a ruler listens to lies, all his officials become wicked. 
the poor and the oppressor, have this in common. The Lord gives sight to the eyes of both. If a king judges the poor with fairness, his throne will be established forever. A rod and a reprimand impart wisdom, but a child left undisciplined disgraces its mother. When the wicked increase, wrongdoing increases, but the righteous will see their downfall. Correct your son, and he will give you comfort. He will also delight your soul. Where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained, but happy is one who keeps the law. A slave will not be instructed by words alone, for though he understands, there will be no response. Do you see a person who is hasty with his words? There is more hope for a fool than for him. One who pampers his slave from childhood will in the end find him to be rebellious. An angry person stirs up strife, and a hot-tempered person abounds in wrongdoing. A person's pride will bring him low, but a humble spirit will obtain honor. One who is a partner with a thief hates his own life. He hears the oath but tells nothing. The fear of a man brings a snare, but one who trusts in the Lord will be protected. Many seek the ruler's favor, but justice for mankind comes from the Lord. An unjust person is an abomination to the righteous, and one who is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Chapter 30 The Words of Augur, the Son of Jaqeh, The Pronouncement the man declares to Ithiel, to Ithiel and Ukal, I am certainly more stupid than any man, and I do not have the understanding of a man, nor have I learned wisdom, nor do I have the knowledge of the Holy One, who has ascended into heaven and descended, who has gathered the wind in his fists, who has wrapped the waters in his garment, who has established all the ends of the earth, what is his name, or his son's name? Surely you know. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words, or he will rebuke you, and you will be proved a liar. Two things I have asked of you. Do not refuse me before I die. Keep deception and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that is my portion, so that I will not be full and deny you and say, Who is the Lord? And that I will not become impoverished and steal and profane the name of my God. Do not slander a slave to his master, or he will curse you and you will be found guilty. There is a kind of person who curses his father and does not bless his mother. There is a kind who is pure in his own eyes, yet is not washed from his filthiness. There is a kind, oh how lofty are his eyes, and his eyelids are raised in arrogance. There is a kind of person whose teeth are like swords, and his jaw teeth like knives, to devour the poor from the earth, and the needy from among mankind, and the needy from among mankind. The leech has two daughters, give and give. There are three things that will not be satisfied, four that will not say enough. Sheol, the infertile womb, earth that is never satisfied with water, and fire that never says enough. The eye that mocks a father and scorns a mother, the ravens of the valley will pick it out, and the young eagles will eat it. There are three things which are too wonderful for me, four which I do not understand. The way of an eagle in the sky, the way of a snake on a rock, the way of a ship in the middle of the sea, and the way of a man with a virgin. This is the way of an adulterous woman. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I have done no wrong. Under three things the earth quakes, and under four it cannot endure under a slave when he becomes king, and a fool when he is satisfied with food, under an unloved woman when she gets a husband, 
and a female servant when she dispossesses her mistress. Four things are small on the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. The ants are not a strong people, but they prepare their food in the summer. The rock hyraxes are not a mighty people, yet they make their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet all of them go out in ranks. The lizard you may grasp with the hands, yet it is in king's palaces. There are three things which are stately in their march, even four which are stately when they walk. The lion, which is mighty among animals and does not retreat from anything. The strutting rooster or the male goat, and a king when his army is with him. If you have been foolish in exalting yourself, or if you have plotted evil, put your hand on your mouth, for the churning of milk produces butter, and pressing of the nose produces blood, so the churning of anger produces strife. Chapter 31 The sayings of King Lemuel contain this message which his mother taught him. O oh, my son, O oh, son of my womb, O oh, son of my vows, do not waste your strength on women, on those who ruin kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, to guzzle wine. Rulers should not crave alcohol, for if they drink, they may forget the law, and not give justice to the oppressed. Alcohol is for the dying, and wine for those in bitter distress. Let them drink to forget their poverty, and remember their troubles no more. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, speak up for the poor and helpless, and see that they get justice. Who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her, and she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She finds wool and flax, and busily spins it. She is like a merchant's ship, bringing her food from afar. She gets up before dawn, to prepare breakfast for her household, and plan the day's work for her servant girls. She goes to inspect a field, and buys it. With her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. She makes sure her dealings are profitable. Her lamp burns late into the night. Her hands are busy spinning thread, her fingers twisting fiber. She extends a helping hand to the poor, and opens her arms to the needy. She has no fear of winter for her household, for everyone has warm clothes. She makes her own bedspreads. She dresses in fine linen and purple gowns. Her husband is well known at the city gates, where he sits with the other civic leaders. She makes belted linen garments and sashes to sell to the merchants. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instructions with kindness. She carefully watches everything in her household, and suffers nothing from laziness. Her children stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, and beauty does not last. But a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Reward her for all she has done, let her deeds publicly declare her praise.